Do we need a Fuji X-T2S? Catch me after the break and I'll let you know my thoughts on this subject. See you in a sec. What's happening YouTubers? And thank you for coming back to the channel today. In today's episode, we are discussing do we really need a Fuji X-T2S? You will know that there's, well, if you're into the Fuji X gear, there's a brilliant source of information via a website called Fuji Rumors, which is ran, ran by the awesome Patrick. He spends a lot of time and effort keeping everyone up to date on rumors, and he's very accurate in his rumors, which is awesome, so thank you, Patrick. But I couldn't, th I couldn't stop thinking about a rumor that happened a little while ago, which was discussing Fuji bringing out a camera called the Ultima X. And I thought that was actually a really wise move. The Ultima X is, or probably was going to be something like a Fuji's version of like a 1DX or the Nikon D5. Something as in a flagship which is even better than the X-T2 X Pro 2. And I thought that could have been really, really interesting because there's a lot of people that I think still want to have lighter gear and we, we already know that whole APS-C full frame is that even an argument anymore? I don't think so, in my opinion. But it, it seems that it might have been put on the back burner for the moment. And there's talks of an X-T2S coming out. Now, I think the whole reason for this video is... I don't know if it's worth bringing out an X-T2S. And I, I'm going to give you my reasoning behind that. So... It hasn't been that long, really, since the X-T2 came out. Uh, and... I don't know if... Will Fuji really bring out an X-T2S just to incorporate IBIS? Or will they just wait for the X-T3? I personally think it would be a wiser move for Fuji to, to wait to bring out an X-T3, where maybe sensor technology may move forward a little bit more so they could incorporate maybe a slightly better sensor with maybe even more dynamic range or maybe even a few more pixels and I think that would be a better reason to bring out a whole brand new camera wait for technology to move forward rather than bringing out kind of like a stepping stone to just incorporate IBIS I don't know if this is something that you guys are looking forward to. I think IBIS is a very good idea, but it worries me that I don't want Fujifilm bending too much to customer needs. And it sounds crazy, and I'll explain again why I think that. Because Sony do that. Sony listen to what their customer demand is, apparently. I could be completely wrong. But Sony have got into this habit of cramming everything into one camera and there's been issues with uh, cameras overheating and even the A9, I mean, you know, yeah, it's a 20 frame for FPS, but yeah, there's been a few issues with that in regards to, you know, the camera taking ages to, to clear that buffer and I don't want Fuji to go down that route. I think Fuji should concentrate and stick to their core values in creating cameras for photographers. And if that means incorporating IBIS, then that's great if you want IBIS. And I'll be happy with the IBIS, you know, I'm not saying I, I wouldn't be. But I don't want them to cram their cameras with too much stuff because even the X-T2, you know, you, you hear a lot of people that have had issues or having issues, me, myself included, where I did have an issue. And I think it, it will just keep getting worse if you cram too much stuff in. So, this is my personal opinion. Again, I, I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm right. It's just how I feel about the brand. What do you guys think? Do you think that Fuji should 
continue going down the route of implementing all these and cramming all these extra features in their cameras? Do you think it's a good idea to have one camera that tries to do it all? Or do you go for a camera that does something really, really well? I know personally what I prefer. For instance, like the X-Pro2. I think that does everything really, really well. It's not trying to be something that it's not. It's a photographer's camera. The X-T2 is a brilliant camera. You know, I'm not going to knock my X-T2. I love the X-T2. And I love what it does. I love the power of the camera. I love the way you can clip a battery grip onto it and make it even more powerful. But I just hope, you know, even incorporating 4K on the latest, again, um, firmware that's due out, again, from Fuji Rumors, so thank you Patrick, you're the man. But let me know what you guys think. Should we incorporate all these gizmos and gadgets into our cameras, but at the same time, will it cause issues? That's it, I'm done, I am over and out, and I will catch you guys real soon on the next video. Cheers guys, bye.